everyone, my name is Kelly McElligott and I'm one of the educators here with Bywater Solutions and I have this quick tutorial video on how to use and set up the Quick Add Patron option. Now the Quick Add Patron option was created um, to allow the library to quickly add new patrons into their system um, and then possibly go back and fill out the rest. Um, what, however your workflow works for your library. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what the quick add patron looks like um, compared to the regular patron form and then I'm going to show you how to um, set it up and adjust it to your library's needs. I'm going to go over and click on my patron for my patron module. Now I can see I have that option of new patron with that drop down menu that allows me to pick the category and I also have that quick add new patron with a drop down menu to add the category. Let's go ahead and just look at what our new patron um, form looks like. And as you can see as I scroll down there's just a lot of fields that are that are um, needing to be filled out. Obviously just the red are mandatory so you don't need to fill out maybe alternate contact if you don't need that um, in that situation or that alternate address um, but it just is a lot of information. So now they've added what is called the quick add new patron. And so we're going to go over there and look at what that looks like. I'm going to again choose the same category I showed you before. So here in the quick add patron form, you can see the red fields are the required fields. And then there's some additional fields such as address, username, password, and confirm password. At any point during the quick add patron, if you, um, if your librarian wanted to switch over to that full form, they do have that option and they can just click over to the full form and get back there um, or go back to that brief form. So there is that flexibility of the um, quick add. So if your library decides it needs some more fields in that quick add, say maybe an email address is something that you would like to add to the quick add form, um, we can do that in a system preference. So we're going to go over to our Koha main menu and I'm going to go over to my Koha administration. Now the global system preferences for quick add is quick add. Go ahead and search that. And here I can see that um, it lists out what my um, fields are, what my fields are in this form. And all the fields are separated with that um, delimiter. If you did want to add a new field such as email address, you would need to make sure that you go over to the borrower table in the schema for Koha to know how it shows up in the database. So I'm going to go over and show you what that um, borrower table looks like. And here we are in the schema for Koha. And in this column, there's the borrower number. These are the fields that you would want to use. So coming here, I can see that my field for email is just email. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I can go ahead and copy that. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. And after I do that, I'm going to add that um, pipeline delimiter right there. And I'm going to go ahead and save it. Now this is adding the email field to my quick add patron form. So I'm going to go back over to patrons. I'm going to go to head and quick add new patron young adult. And now I can see my email is showing up there to fill out. Now you can see from the Koha form, it says primary email. However, in the database, it just says email. So it's best to go over and check that um, borrower table in the schema. I'm going to take a quick moment just to talk about those mandatory borrower fields. As you can see that they're in red. That is another system preference that we're going to go over and show you what, um, how to set that up or take something away. So I'm going to go back over. I'm going to use the more drop down and just pop over to my administration. And this global system preference is called mandatory. Here, borrower mandatory fields. 
Now here, they actually have that link over to the schema right here. So if you click that, you would get to that same place that I was earlier. And then it just shows you which fields you can add to make as mandatory. I want to thank everyone for watching this. I hope I um, answered any questions that you had um, and have a great day. This tutorial is a production of Bywater Solutions.